teacher, Doug Smith. Doug Smith. I disappointed a friend who came because I thought he thought I was actually going to teach you how to make ropes. But he knows how because he was a Boy Scout. Now, rope spinning or trick roping came from Mexico. It's a Mexican invention. These are a couple of inventions. Well, my favorite was oral contraceptives. <laughs> I came through college in the age of free love. <laughs> this, this is a kitty rope. And I got these for one of these for one of my, son, my sons when I was younger, and they were younger, whoops. And it's really not very impressive because the whole idea for me of rope spinning rope was to in, inspire envy in men and awe in women. <laughs> this is a twisted rope. We're already behind that. Twisted ropes are great for lots of things, but if you use them for rope spinning, they twist right apart. We have, are you already going? Oh. We have a cowboy's rope, which is really a great rope. The problem is, is that nobody's going to be impressed with the fact that I'm spinning this loop that's waxed open. It's great for catching a, uh, a calf, and I would not ever want to do that because it's a really scary thing to do. You have to use a rope instead. It's called a sash rope, and it, you've already seen some of the stuff up there. When I'm using it, I actually have to do two things. I have to spin the rope, and I have to twist the spoke, because otherwise it all gets knotted up. And so if you watch carefully, Tim, when the rope is a flat loop like this, that's what you have to do. <laughs> You can see there, there's actually, I'm moving to a new rope with a different kind of Honda. The Honda is actually sort of the weight you use to help spin the loop. <laughs> After you do, learn to do flat loop, and he, he's shown you a lot of different ways to do flat loop. I only know how to do it with the left hand. <laughs> left hand, right hand. <laughs> you can do the wedding ring. <laughs> this is a scary one. <laughs> you can do the wedding ring. And what Doug taught me is, is, in fact, the hard part on this is doing it slowly enough. Doing it slowly enough. <laughs> because it's... One, two... Except talk. Now, what Doug, Doug is doing is what's called the third stage. It's called a butterfly. Now, one of the things you'll notice if you watch carefully, Doug does not have to twist the rope. Now, he solved that problem by switching the side where the loop is on from back and forth. So it twists a little bit on this side, so it switches to the other side, and it untwists on the other side. Now, all of the bigger ones after this are, are uh, tricks where you can actually hold on to the spoke. <laughs> Don't look over here, Doug. <laughs> Give it one more try. The finale. Now, this is what's funny is this, this is what Doug is a world champion at. Or he will be. Texas fan? 
Go ahead and uh, set up. <laughs> now, the finale is what's called a big loop, and it's done on horseback. <laughs> we couldn't get a horse in here. I asked. They said no. No horse. <laughs> Okay. This is a horse. We don't have time enough to put a little picture on it, but pretend it's a horse. Whoops, there we go. So on horseback, you take a large rope. He's got a 50-foot rope here. And you do a wedding ring. But you've got to be high enough and strong enough and in a hurry because he's not going to be able to twist the rope. Because he's got to have a lot of energy in it. champion on that is a 114-foot rope. Oh, and it gets to where they just get too heavy. <laughs> it's amazing, guys. Thanks for